Grisham with Laura Grisham Designs. And today I have gotten the permission from Tammy Stoner to show you how to make her um, angel wings that, that she's gotten to be pretty famous for on Facebook. Her group is GMA Tammy's Wreaths. And she told me that the GMA, evidently that's what her grandkids call her, is, is, it stands for that. She got the um, idea for her particular, um, I don't want to say brand, but her style of wings during the night, one night when she was thinking about her grandson, um, who is extremely ill. Um, still, I believe he's been in the hospital now for like four or five months. Um, they, he needs 24 hour care. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what's wrong with him. I think it has something to do with his respiration and oxygen intake and things like that. But anyway, God blessed her with this concept and this design, and she's given me permission to show you how to do it. She, um, on her in her group, there are pictures um, that she's taken of the steps to do, but she's, I don't believe she's ever done a video. So again, like I said, she's given me permission to show you. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, you've gotta remember, I'm not a professional. <laughs> and so um, this isn't a professional video, but you'll be able to do it. So um, let me get my things together and I'll show you how to do this. First, let me tell you about um, what you'll need. You'll need a 12 inch you'll need a 12 inch heart wreath frame from Dollar Tree looks like this they're $1.25 right now Dollar Tree's gone up from a dollar to a dollar 25 in their items so it's an inexpensive wreath form it's not really really big your angel wings will be bigger than 12 inches of course but um, this is what you start with and you will take it and you will take a pair of pliers, or wire cutters, excuse me, and you will cut right here in the middle, right here, on these, these marks right here where, where the points are. And you'll cut that with your wire cutters and spread it, spread it out. Um, and that's how you make the wings. I um, take uh, hot glue and put that on the ends, on the tips here, um, to keep them from being so sharp. Um, just put a little dab, let it dry a little bit, put a little bit more. And I do that on all my little edges. I cut up here too. Up here is where you put your foam for your flowers and sometimes bow or whatever item that you're gonna put on your wreath. Tammy sometimes has um, people ask her uh, to put pictures and things like that. So I haven't had that yet, but um, so you you need um, uh, uh, this cut so that you can you can place things there. So you'll need your heart frame, and then you'll need um, one roll of mesh is all it takes generally. Um, Tammy um, has done all different colors. Um, her first one that she did is beautiful. Um, she did it in like a baby blue with yellow flowers in the center and it's just gorgeous she did that for her grandson that's what she got that that night when she was couldn't sleep and got this this idea um I'm, i will show you that uh things like like this um deco mesh would be very pretty because of the border um very nice uh most of the time um from what I understand, Tammy uses just regular deco mesh. Here's an iridescent foil. This would also be pretty. Um, most of the time, my customers, well, the, I wouldn't say customers, the people that I have done angel wings, memorial angel wings for, um, have been females. And they have, the first pair I did, I used this particular mesh right here this ruffle edged math mesh um it's i get it from craft outlet or trendy tree they both carry it and it has this iridescent trim on it and this kind of like fuzz edge it looks like this when you take it out of the package and when you fold it into the wing 
um, thing. It's just very, very pretty. And so most, I would, not most, all <laughs> of the memorial wings that I've done for females have been uh, requested that this mesh be used. Um, I've done a few for men. And when I do for men, I use poly burlap. And I don't know why. It's just, it's a thicker, um, I don't know, more substantial, more manly almost looking mesh. And um, I, I like it uh, to use for men. Um, anyway, this is just white poly burlap. All the wreaths that I've done, the angel wings I've done, have been in white uh, by request of the people that I make them for. Um, I got a call this morning from a dear friend who lost her husband during the night. So I'm going to be making her wings. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and share that um, with you, how I make them. And I will be following Tammy's um, directions and um, I've already made all my petals but I'm going to show you how to do it um, I made them in poly burlap but I'm going to show you how to do it using this mesh with the ruffled edge um, it, you have to make your your uh, petals a certain way for each side um, there will be 18 petals that you'll need or feathers whatever you want to call them for each side of the heart um, like the ones that go on the right side need to be where the edge of the um, mesh the the finished edge is on top and it's curved here and the points are pointing in like this they go on the right side and then the left side it's just the opposite with the finished edge again pointing in so there's you have a two different folds it's the same it's just one little twist and i'll show you how to do that okay um the way that i'm not well all the time when i'm folding my my petals um i have you know you have your piece of mesh this is um let me move my camera up a little bit so you can see better a 10 by 10 inch piece. Now, if your mesh is 10 and a half, of course, you're, you're going to cut it at 10 and a half. Um, but you take your square and you have your finished edges on your right and you look your left. And you take your mesh, and this is the way that I do most of my petals anyway. I turn it to the right and I you take this top corner and bring it down to the bottom like this and match it up as best you can. And I always turn it around. Don't know why. Habit. I don't really know what this petal is called, this fold. It may have a name. I'm sure it probably does. Don't know what it is. But this is what we do. Uh, we just gather right up the middle here. And you end up with this wing looking design like this. As you can see, regular deco mesh doesn't like to play. All right, then you take it and you <laughs> you flip it over like this. And I'm going to turn this over because I want this, um, this finished edge on top. And as you can see, it looks like this. I'm having a hard time with my phone camera today. But it looks like this. And with the iridescent mesh, you can see how pretty that is um, with that with that border showing. And then all you have to do is um, zip tie or rubber band that in together. Here we go. And you've got this pretty little wing petal feather. I, I always take mine in and just kind of squish it up like that to make it curve. Okay, but look how pretty that is. That is going to go on the left side of your frame because you want it pointing in like this. So, 
you want your your feather going the opposite way on this side but you don't make it the same because look what happens you have your um your unfinished edge on top and you don't want that so what you do is you take your piece of mesh and you do it exactly like you did before you have it um with your uh finished edges on the side like this but instead of turning it to the right you turn it to the left and have your finished edge on the top right and bottom left pull this down just like before and flip it around and gather it up just like that flip this over just like before and I'm gonna well <laughs> I said I was gonna flip it over but I'm not I'm gonna leave it like this <coughs> and I'm gonna get my zip tie and go ahead and close that off make sure I have the right my zip tie going the right direction <laughs> And this is a very long zip tie to use for this particular project, but you use what you got handy. And if you'll notice, this time, the finished edges are pointing in toward the left. So I can put this particular petal here and the one I made previously right here. So they're going in different directions let me get this up high enough there you go like this okay so that's how you do it you just you do the same fold you just turn it a different direction now you'll do like I said 18 petals facing this way and 18 petals facing this way what I do when I make when I'm making my petals is I, I clip them together um, with using different colored clips I make 18 and I like for this particular one I, I used a green clip for the ones um, that go uh, let's see which direction is this okay for the ones going that go on the right side of the wing facing in this way and I used pink a pink clip for the other side so that I didn't get mixed up and when I'm putting it together I keep them on those sides because it's very easy to get you know you get to make in your wreath and you get confused about when you're putting it putting it together about which goes where all right now I'm going to go ahead and pause and get my things set up and then I'll show you the placement on the frame which is very important um, when you're following Tammy's uh, instructions, uh, if you don't um, place your petals, I found anyway, in the order that she has laid out, your wings tend to look a little not, I don't want to say put together, but they kind of like look like they're everything's just kind of out there. Um, and you don't want that. You want it to look, you know, like angel wings, not just like but wings. Um, so um, anyway, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, Tammy has a Facebook group called GMA Tammy's Wreaths. And in that group, she has um, posted directions on how to do her angel wings. And what I did was I just, you know, I've made so many now that I, I just took a piece of paper and wrote down the placement of on each side. And you can see I even made directions on how to, which way they're supposed to face. Um, but let me show you what you do. Um, I usually start on the uh, left side. And the very first feather goes right here on this crossbar the middle crossbar. So I'm gonna take my um, zip tie and the petal 
has to be facing. So I'm going to take this group because the, the finished edge is on top. The curve is here and, the, and it's going this way. And that's what goes on this side in the pink clip for me. And the green clip goes on the other side. So I've got them on each side like, like such. So I'm going to take a, a, a wing, a feather, and I'm going to, you know, make sure that I like the way that it looks because this one is, is a, in a placement that it needs to be a really good petal. The bottom one, um, obviously, I need to cut that string. But um, it's not as important um, as that top feather. So I'm going to put that right here in this spot. sure that I like the way that it looks <clears throat> and cut that zip tie now I'm gonna go ahead and show you that you can go to the other side and you're gonna do the exact same thing that bar right here that right it that's where number one goes so I'm gonna take a feather or petal facing that direction the other direction and put that right there now looking at that that's not even so I'm going to adjust <laughs> I don't that particular pedal is is it's longer so I'm not going to use it I'm going to go ahead and take that off and pick a different one that's maybe smaller Let's see if this one would work. And it may be that my bar is not, or maybe I need to pull this up higher. I think that's what I'll do. I'll pull this one up higher, still spreading that out. And also adjusting my, my heart frame. And once you get this, um, all your feathers put on, you can go in and adjust too. So we'll leave it like that. Not perfect, but I can always go back and change it. But that's where petal number one goes. Next, you're going to take and you're going to go to this outer bar right here. Petal number two goes here. Let's turn that around. Again, my finished edge going in towards the middle so I'm going to put that there zip tie that on and I'm going to go ahead and put on number three I'm going to go to the outside bar across from number two uh, and these are both a little bit above the first petal Okay. Now I can go ahead and go to the other side and do the same thing. Now remember, I put the middle petal on first. So I'm going to go to, I mean, the inner bar, this one. So I'm going to go to that bar first. That's really bothering me, but I can always fix it. I'm going to go right here. Put that on. And that's about right. You can see. Where I have these these two are are you see how they're meeting up? You want to you want to make sure if you don't kind of match them up a little bit, it starts to look messy, and you don't you don't want your wings to look messy. And then we go to number three on the outside bar across from number two, a little above number one. And we put that one right there. Okay, so we have, this is, this is what we have so far. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to get my zip tie gun and cut these, these zip tie tails. <clears throat> and 
and you'll see they slide and and that's good because you can kind of adjust things and this zip tie gun just okay there we go <laughs> snagged on one of my feathers there we go so this is what we have so far we've got petal one two and three on both sides now let's go to petal four um you know i just said this is actually petal four i'm sorry this is one two and actually three goes right above it and then you have four over there on the side oh i'm so sorry Hope I haven't confused you. Here's three. Which is right above two. <laughs> That's three. And then this one is four. So let's do the same thing over here. Um, let's see. Right, it goes right here. It fills up really fast, too. So, um, as you can see, I think you can see. I have to check my phone. That's how I'm filming. So, and I have it on a an arm thing. So, I have to keep checking to make sure you guys can see, see right. So, I've got one, two, three, and four on. Five is going to go back on this middle bar. We've got this gap here, as you can see. So we've got to fill in that gap. So we're going to put five right here. Come back over here to my pink clips and get my wings that are going this direction. It's going to go right there. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Look how full that's getting. With your poly burlap, it really fills up fast um, because it's so thick. Um, it's, it's not as full with your um, regular deco mesh. Okay, number six going to go, um, actually these are going to slide up some, excuse, um, because your number six is going to go on, um, right above your crossbar. It's going to go over here on the inside. Hope I'm doing this right, Tammy. <coughs> excuse me. It's going to go right here. We're going to put one, number six, on the right side, right above that crossbar on the inside ring. Okay. And you can see, once you have your, um, your feathers made, your petals, um, putting them on goes pretty pretty fast. So th this is not a project that takes um, you know hours to do. You can you can do this fairly quickly. Okay, that's six. Seven's going to go on the outside um, bar across from it. Right there. And so we're going to go on the opposite side, do the exact same thing on that outside ring. Number eight. 
that these in here could. This is getting really full fast. Um, number eight, nine, and ten are going to go across here above. Here, here's that bar, and we're going to go above that. We're going to go right in here, kind of in this curve. And it's going to get, most of your petals are up here, so it's going to get really thick up in here. So we're going to go eight, nine, and ten across on each side. There's eight, nine, I mean, you see how you stack them like that? That's important. That's why you do it in order like this. And ten. I'm not, I don't like the way that petal looks. I'm, and it's on top, so I'm going to change that out. Put this one here. Okay, so we've got 8, 9, and 10. We're making this curve here. We're going to go on this other side. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start putting number 8 on the outside ring and work our way in. 8 goes here. Across from this one. Trying to keep it even. And 10 right here across from this one. Let's see. Here we go. This one will work. Okay. This is what we have so far. See how pretty that's looking? Tammy did such a great job. All right. Let's go ahead and cut these. I've ordered me some new pliers. They were a little bit smaller than this. My husband picked these up at the hardware store a long time ago, but they work. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we've done 8, 9, and 10. We're going to do 11, 12, and 13. It's going to be right above these in the same order. Keep these even. We're going to start on the outside ring. Can you see? There we go. Outside ring. Um, okay, we'll... No. I like this one better. Okay. Notice how that one is, is on the outside. It's starting to curve in again. Again, you have to... And you're going to have some petals where your raw edges um, kind of show more and they're not as pretty. You just you kind of use those on the middles so that they get kind of hidden. <laughs> um, let's see. Here's one we can use on the middle. That's not as pretty. You can see where it's kind of, you know, not as nice. But we can trim that up, make it better. And then we go, we did, we did 11, 12, we're on 13, is that right? Again, with poly burlap, it fills up very quickly. Um, so, uh, you have to um, kind of squish them. <laughs> I'll be squishing here in a minute. Squishing them down, pushing them down to make room for the others. Okay, now let's go on this side. Again, we're going to work our way in.
There we go. Okay, and this is what we've got so far. Can you see that? I got the whole thing in there for you. It looks like this. Okay. All right. And again, you want to you want to make sure that you you've got you want it to match up on the sides here and to kind of have the same shape. It's not going to be identical on each side. You don't want it to be. I mean, an angel's wings aren't. They're not going to be identical. And look at a bird. I mean, their wings are not. You look at their feathers. Their their feathers kind of go, you know, freely. So, trim these off. Get them out of the way. <clears throat> okay, 14, 15, 16, up here. Again, we're going to work, uh, let's see if you can see. Okay, we're going to work from the outside in. And I want this one to, I want to be careful with this one because it's got a curve. So, you know, you can see this out here and we'll play with it once we get done. Um, so, anyway. I'm going to try, I'm gonna go ahead and push some of this down because this is so full here. So I'm gonna push it down. I'll, I'll match it up on the other side. It's the beauty of zip ties on a, on a frame anyway. Okay. And now I have my last two, 17 and 18, on the top, um, top outer ring and the middle ring. I'm going to go ahead and put them there since we're here. This one's getting in the way, so let's go ahead and cut these. <clears throat> Put one right on, excuse me, on the middle, right here. That one will flip over. We'll flip it back over like that. Let's tighten that up. And a lot of times on these upper um, petals or feathers. Um, on the back, once I get everything where I like it, and I start putting flowers and stuff in the center, I, I'll hot, put a little hot glue on the, excuse me, on the back here to kind of hold it and make sure it doesn't slide. You can see how see how they slide, especially this one at the top. So, um, and also you can see where I need to trim that, trim that up and fix it nice and pretty. Let's go ahead and do that on the other side. We're going to do, oh, let's see. Um, we go in 14, 15, 16. We go in on the outer, outer um, ring. Middle ring. inner ring, the last one on the inner ring. Notice that I'd skip the bar 
where we're below the bar because right in this area is where your flowers and or your bow or whatever your objects are going to go so um that that's why we we skip that that bar okay this i am having trouble with these zip ties that i purchased i'm not going to tell you where i bought them because you'll get scared <laughs> Excuse me again. Okay, let's cut these tails. We got two more to go. Last two feathers. And again, we start on the outside. Outer ring. No, we go this way. See, you've got to be careful. I almost put it on this way. That's facing the wrong direction. And if you'll look, the raw edges is, is on the top. We want that finished edge on the top. So be careful when you're putting them on. Because and sometimes when I've done them in the past, when I'll see something that does, it looks fun, just funky. doesn't look right. And that's what I've done is I've put a pedal on the wrong direction so um you have to you know just kind of be mindful of the direction that you're going and and your you know which way your pedals are okay that's it 36 feathers didn't take hardly any time did it and and that's what we have i'm going to take my camera off of my uh little handle thing so that you can see this is what we have. This is what it looks like in the center. Okay. And um, down here at the bottom right now, you can see that it meets. I'll probably go ahead and spread the, the wire and, all, and work with these bottom petals to make sure that there's some kind of a gap here. Um, I'm going to pause now, get my foam and uh, my floral pieces ready, and I will go ahead and warn you, um, when I do my florals, I just play with it. I don't have a game plan in mind. This particular client, I believe I told you, um, she called me this morning and lost her husband last night, and we had already talked before, um, and I had told her her husband was very ill, and I had told her that I would make her a set of wings. So she let me know, and she told me to just make them. And uh, so I'm going to use the florals and stuff that I have, and um, we'll just kind of wing it. <laughs> okay, what I've done is I've taken a piece of, actually, this is like styrofoam, and I cut it into a block. Um, let's see how big this is. This is only about three inches, well, about three inches square. And it was thicker than I wanted, so I cut it down. And then I zip tied it, obviously, to the wire frame. Now, you can use just about anything you want. You can use, uh, you know, this kind of foam here. It's very soft. And it tend, I don't really like to use it as much because I, I guess maybe I'm too rough and I just kind of tear through it. So I won't be, I didn't do that. But I zip tie that on, and then I go back, and because the zip ties will pull through this foam, I'll um, go ahead and add a little hot glue to make to the zip tie across the bar and also on the foam. Um, and you'll hear it pop and crackle <laughs> because um, it's plastic, so the heat you know is kind of melting it. But um, this will hold it um, in place. And I'm also going to go across this middle bar here. Where that, can you hear that popping? Okay. And that will hold this foam in place. Now, you may be asking, but Laura, that's kind of, it's just square like that. How are you going to do that? When you start sticking, when you start sticking your floral pieces in there, 
it it won't it won't matter it won't matter um i've decided to start with this small uh floral bush that i have in stock um it's kind of a neutral color it's kind of a mauvey pink color not too feminine and not real masculine either so i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna kind of cut it i'm gonna start right here and i'm gonna go ahead and leave the leaves on it right now i may pull some of them off i don't know and i just start i personally i start right in here and just start sticking stuff in I may not have cut it too sh short enough. I haven't, it's too long. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more of this off. I don't know if I like all those leaves, we'll, we'll see. Let's, let's try this again. Let's stick that in there. And you'll see how that covers up that edge right there. Now, I want to look on the bush and see if I can find something that's similar to that, and, and this side is. So, I'm going to take this, cut it, and stick it on the opposite side, right, th right there, so that we have, you know, it, it, it matches. Now, on my bush, I've got, now I've got left are three main blossoms or blooms. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut and I'm gonna start putting things in the center. Now, I wanna make sure that, um, you know, when it's when it's up like this, you need something kinda not hanging down, but kinda covering up this center part. So, I think this piece is too full. I'm gonna pull some of that off. Um, this, this looks like it can't come off. This is just on there. There we go. Let's push that up some. Let's see what that does. This is still too, this is too long. You can see where I got some hot glue on me. Again, I'm not a florist. I just started, started making wreaths not even a year ago. So I am just learning. But let's leave it looking like that so far. Let's cut off another main piece, another big bloom. And I'm gonna hold my wreath up and I think I want it, I need it right in here. Right in there. And I've got one more. I may have to get in my stash, y'all. Find some other stuff. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to leave some um, leaves on this one. And I'm going to stick it right in here. Now you can see what I've done. Again, you're going for symmetry. So I've got the three blooms, these three blooms that are similar on the sides here. And I've used these three main blossoms in the center in a triangle to keep that, give it that balance. So now I've used all that I had. Um, I've got these leaves left over, and I think they need to go over here. So I'm going to take, um, let's see, what am I going to do? I think I'll take, I'll take a piece of this, of this stem here and use it um, to put these leaves through. I think I'll stick this through here like that and maybe bend it. Oh, y'all, I just kind of make stuff up. I'm going to go over here and put that in the foam right there. And you can see it's opposite right here. Okay. That leaf wants to turn. Let's see if we can fix it. There we go. It's better. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Let me go into my little stash on the other side of the room and see what I can find to coordinate with these things.
Okay, I went and I, I purchased, I like to have on my wings with the florals, things that come out and up and, and kind of fray, flay out, I guess you would say. And one of the things that I like to use is tapas grass. Now I have this in white and I had purchased some in this like iridescent lime green color. But if you look, neither one of those really works. The white's too white, the green's too green. I also had some in kind of a blue green color. But again, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. I might can use some of this. But I found some in this pretty tan and I think it's perfect. We're dealing with a, a, a passing of a man, but this this woman, this friend of mine, you know, she wants to be able to keep this in her house. I also had these pieces, actually this was on a long stem like this, and I just cut it off. And I believe I purchased this at um, Hobby Lobby, not sure. Um, most of my florals I go ahead, I don't get at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I go ahead and purchase them when I buy my mesh, like at Craft Outlet or uh, Trendy Tree, or I pick things up from um, Hobby Lobby. And I also purchase like the Pappas Grass, I, not those pieces, but sometimes I've gotten like the, the blue-green color from Timu. So you can sometimes find some good things there. But I believe I'm going to take this brown Pappas Grass and add it in like, like right here and here. And I might, you know, trim it down probably and add in pieces of this white um, to go across too, like that. Can you see? I can't see that at all. There you go, like that. And have that, you know, hanging down. I've got several pieces of this brown, so, you know, I can stick it different places and I probably will have one um, maybe coming, you know, at the top. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to, I'll have to play and see. But I'm going, I know I'm going to use these pieces and play with this and put it in there. Again, I'm going for symmetry and I'm going for, um, um, I want to keep this, uh, calm. Is that, a, is that a good word? Um, peaceful. Um, not too feminine. Um, it's winter time, but I don't want, so I don't, but I don't want, um, snowy winter like I've done some before, um, that for people that have passed in like December and November. Um, but I don't want spring. It's too early. So I'm going to work on this and then I'll be back and show you what I've come up with. Okay. This is what I've come up with. Um, I've got this hanging on a white door, so it's kind of hard to see. I'll pull it off in just a minute. But you can see I've tried to keep with the symmetry with the brown pappas grass. Um, it's not going to be perfect, and you probably don't want it to be. Um, I, I have hot glued um, everything into place uh, where I want it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this down and show you the back so you can see what I've done. I, um, on the back, for hanging purposes, I took a zip tie and I went from right here, from this inside bar over here and just put a zip tie there to be hunt for it to hang. And this leaf is sticking up to kind of hide things, okay? Um, now, you'll notice that this is not real, real pretty. Um, most of the time, what I will do is I'll take a piece of white foam board from Dollar Tree and cut it in this heart kind of shape to cover the back. But I'm out of that, and I really need to have this for my friend. I really like to get it to her today. So, our church just remodeled the sanctuary and yesterday at church they had tons of boxes and cardboard stacked up and they said Laura you can have some so I took 
I took some. <laughs> I've got boxes for my big wreaths so that I can ship them. But they have these pieces of uh, plain, uh, just cardboard. And they're nice. So I think I'm going to use it. Notice that it fits perfectly over the frame. So what I'll do is I'll kind of trace over this. And I will zip tie that cardboard to the back here. Now, Tammy and I were talking, and she likes to use the Dollar Tree foam board, white foam board, too. But she takes a, I think it's a Dollar Tree dust mop, uh, the white mop things. Not the ones with the long fuzz, but, and you know. But she'll take that, and she actually covers the foam. I don't do that. Sometimes I will Mod Podge it to kind of give it a sheen and also to protect it just in case um, the wreath is placed outdoors for any length of time. By the way, here's what, here's what it looks like. And when I get the back on, I will pull you back in and let you see what that looks like. And we'll take this and we'll hang it on another door in my house, actually outside, so that you can see it in the light and get a better idea of how it looks. Okay, this is what it looks like outside. I'm not going to say very long. This is raining. Um, this is on my deck. Um, it does take up the, the door. And this is what it looks like from the side. I think it turned out very pretty and very nice and not too feminine, not too masculine. Um, I think that she will love it. Um, thank you for allowing me to share how to make these memorial angel wings with you. Again, thank you, thank you, Tammy Stoner, for um, your wonderful design, for sharing your directions with us, and for allowing me to videotape how to, to demonstrate how to do them. Again, you can go to Facebook and find Tammy Stoner. You can find her group, GMA Tammy's Wreaths, and feel free to join. It's a wonderful group. I have so enjoyed it, and I just absolutely adore Tammy. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day.